channel welcome i'm erica or welcome back maybe you've been here before if not hello i'm a personal chef otherwise known as a professional meal prepper i go into people's homes i cook for them i leave lovely food in their fridge for them for the week and today i'm going to be doing that in a one-off situation for the lovely brooke Vicio. she is an influencer a content creator She's just a gal who makes a lot of lovely things online for us to consume, and I'm excited to make something for her that hopefully she'll love as well. So I, with Brooke, did all the stuff that I need to do with a fresh client. I got on the phone with her, talked about her likes, her dislikes, the way that she eats day to day. And so we planned the menu based on that. She is, like I mentioned, very busy. So we're going with a composed style meal prep as opposed to family style. Composed is when you have those little lunch boxes, you can really grab and go with them. Whereas family style is more of a mix and match scenario. She also told me that she is very into kava, sweet green, kind of bowl type foods. So we plan a menu that's gonna scratch that itch for her. She doesn't have any dietary restrictions, so we included meat and cheese and lots of good veggies, of course, grains, gluten, all that good stuff. I am, of course, so happy to always accommodate any dietary stuff that people have, but it is a real treat when someone is like, just go for it. So that's what we're doing today. We've got a really yummy menu. I've got a roasted sweet potato and black bean nourish bowl. I'm also going to do a ground turkey taco salad kind of deal where I'm using my veggie loaded ground taco mixture. I ate that quite a bit in my week of eating. If you want to check that video out, I'll drop the link down below. Finally, to wrap things up, we're going to do a Greekish grain salad with farro. We're going to do a Greek yogurt vinaigrette. We're going to do simple seared chicken breast. I think all this is going to be really satisfying. It's going to hold up well in the fridge for a few days for her. I am really excited. I think she is going to do a little vloggy situation. So I'm excited to actually see her eat some of this over on YouTube as well. So I am gonna check my groceries, make sure that I have everything, and then we'll get going over to Brooks. Okay, amazing. I have good news and bad news. The good news is that it was already delivered, which is amazing. It'll be there for me to work with when I arrive. The bad news is that it looks like I forgot an ingredient. This does happen. That is why I checked the groceries. I am going to run to the store before I get to Brooks though, so that I can pick up a lemon. We're making some lemony steamed broccoli and I do wanna have a lemon for that, obviously. We will go to the grocery store together really briefly and then we'll head to Brooks. Michio. I know, so I'm confusing. So no, <laughs> that's are. fine too. People say Miko, Miko, like Disney. Okay. <laughs> well, here's the busy gal in question. I am so excited to be in her brand new kitchen. I'm gonna do what I do with every client, which is have Brooke just show me around in the kitchen. It takes me usually a couple of sessions to get acquainted with a new kitchen. This is my first time here, so whenever that's happening, I always cook a little bit slower, which is fine. It's just to be expected, but to make things easier on myself and on Brooke so I can get out of her hair, I'm gonna have her show me a few things. Please, so, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Pots, pans, everything's down here. Pretty much if it's heavy, we did it like lower. We tried to follow that. Nice. Perfect. That's so right. I do have air fryer and any sort of cooking contraptions and nice. things that you have are back there. I have a client who I've been doing some air frying stuff for and it's been coming out really well. Really? Yeah. I don't know about the reheating, like he's okay with it. Uh, for me, I probably wouldn't do a crispy fried thing, but he requests it. I also had Brooke order some meal prep containers. I'll drop the link yes. below to the ones that I recommend. Those are down there. Do you want me to take them out? No, or no. You, this, the whole point of this is that you really shouldn't have to do any work. <laughs> this is so new. I love it. Yeah. Oh, the menu sounds incredible. Yay. Fridge, we already talked about. Your dishwasher's here. I'm gonna hand wash the dishes though, so why don't you show me towel? Are you sure? I always do. Yeah. Okay. I like to leave the kitchen like as oh my I gosh. found it. Okay. Hi. 
have some nice sea salt that's perfect. No, no grinder salt in yeah. this house. None. <laughs> you know, as I described to you on the phone, I brought my own knife and I think I'll just get cooking. Amazing. Yeah, yeah I'm excited. Thank okay. you so much for having me. Oh my gosh, thanks for being here. <laughs> okay, groceries are all unpacked. I'm obviously suited up. I've got my setup done. My cutting board is definitely stabilized. You know me, I do not cook without that little piece of funky drawer liner under there. And I'm gonna get started in on my game plan. The first thing on it is that I need to do the farro. It takes about an hour, 40-ish minutes to cook. So I want to have that done so that it can cool off and I can do my mix-ins toward the end of the cooking session. Once I've got the farro started, I'm also going to do my sweet potatoes. So I will have the whole something on the stove, something in the oven, and then I'll get to a cutting board activity. I think I'm going to do a look at the game plan. According to my game plan, I'm then going to move on to processing the veggies to make the taco meat. So I'm gonna get started and hopefully get through this in like three-ish hours. Yeah, let's keep track. So it's 12.35. for the taco salad. I've got a zucchini that's gonna go into it, a bell pepper. I'm gonna do a fresh tomato just because that's what I have on hand. Sometimes I do tomato paste. And of course, a red onion along with the ground turkey and some yummy spices. I've got the sweet potato in the oven. I used Brooks two quarter sheet trays. I get asked about this a lot. I just use whatever client has on hand. If they don't have something necessary, so something like a pot or a pan, I would ask them to purchase it. But for something like a sheet tray, a couple of quarter sheet trays is perfect. I don't need a big one. So I'm just using what Brooks got on hand. I've got stuff cooking behind me. You can probably hear it too. So I'm gonna do some processing of like with like. I am gonna now move on to my pico and my corn salad, both of which are going in the taco bowl. The reason I'm doing those things together is because it requires me to process an onion for both. So I'm gonna finally mince about uh, probably three quarters of this onion split between the two and then the other quarter of this onion I'm going to process for our Greek salad later on. I am also going to chop some romaine and get the dressing made for the taco salad so I can just have that done and dusted. But yeah, the dressing for the taco salad is really simple creamy lime vinaigrette that I'm going to use some honey in, a little bit of obviously lime juice, a little bit of yogurt to give it that creaminess, some salt obviously. But yeah, this, this is one of my favorite dressings for a taco salad because it's light and bright and the other flavors here are really yummy and have depth of flavor. So I like that contrast. So I have finished the taco salads. I'm now gonna get to work on searing my chicken and making the Greek salad while that's happening. I'm gonna steam some broccoli and put things together. And I do think that'll take me another hour and a half or so. to an audiobook I usually do when I cook. Checking in because we are getting very close to the end. I just finished up the Greek grain bowls, the taco salad's all done, and now I'm just gonna pretty much assemble 
the Nourish Bowl. It is roasted sweet potatoes that I, at the beginning of the session, roasted in some olive oil, salt, pepper, and some chili powder. And then I'm also going to make a really nice mixture of black beans with some olive oil, a little balsamic vinegar, and I'm gonna do some tahini for a little bit of creaminess in those beans. The lemony broccoli, you saw me run to the store for those lemons, so I will not forget to put the lemon on the broccoli. And we're gonna put the goat cheese on the side for Brooke so that if she wants to, she can freeze these bowls off. And then I'm gonna be doing the cleanup, the photography, all that other good stuff that needs to happen before we end the session. I know I already said it at the beginning, but please don't forget to like and subscribe if you came here from Brooke. Hi, it's so nice to have you here. Please stay a while. Okay, I'm done cooking. What's your time check? 3 p.m. I did take a few photos and start cleanup so I guess I ended at around 3 so this took me two and a half hours not including the cleanup and yes including filming and you know chit chatting while I did it so it was definitely I would say within the correct realm of timing for me I ended up making her nine portions of three different meals so lunches and dinners basically for the next four to five days I think that that's a good amount of food for two and a half hours. What else? What else? What else? I think that that's really it. I'm just going to clean up, leave her a note as I usually do. The kitchen is kind of a disaster zone as it normally is at the end of a meal prep, which is totally fine, but I am going to go ahead and clean it up and label all the food, get it put away in her fridge, get the trash taken out, do all the stuff that needs to happen at the end of the meal prep. I'm really excited to hear what she thinks of this. I am going to follow up with her in a couple of days as I always do with clients. If you enjoyed seeing me chat with Brooke and want to see more of her content, I will drop a link below. She's such a truly lovely person and it's always nice to nourish people that need help with it. But yeah, if you liked this and you want to see me do more meal prep, please leave a comment below. Are there dietary restrictions you want to see me meal prep for? Are there people that you would like to see me meal prep for? As always, I'm very curious about all that stuff. And until next time, I hope you have a lovely, well-fed week ahead.